So here we are with another tips video for people just starting out on their baby Tenno adventures, but this time it's about in-game interface options and settings that you might not know about. Everyone knows Fashion Frame is the true endgame, so we'll start there. Tip number one is swapping appearance configurations. When you change between Warframes and weapons, their appearance will always default back to configuration A. If you'd rather one of the other configurations be the default, you can change this by simply dragging and dropping it onto the A slot. Copy Warframe colors at the bottom of the equipment menu is also a very useful option to speed up changing your attachments to match your Warframe's theme. All set. Service your weapons myself. Tip number two is short and sweet. To select an entire stack while in your inventory, you can click middle mouse button once. Tip number three, the search bar. There's a search bar in just about every equipment or interface window in Warframe. Please use it. It will save you so much time. In your foundry window, it can even filter your blueprints by a required resource. No, God, please! Tip number four, highlight allies. Inside accessibility options, you can choose an ally highlight color and even control the thickness. This might be helpful if, like me, you keep shooting at allies because they move and anything that moves is a very attractive target. Tip number five, FOV. Most people probably already know about this one, but if not, then please, for the love of God, go into your settings and change your FOV to max. I'm quickly learning that third-person games are an absolute menace for blocking your line of sight, and max FOV helps to reduce that a decent bit. Tip number six, invert ability activation. You can invert each Warframe's ability's activation between hold and tap separately. I personally don't use this a lot, but some have suggested it for frames like Zephyr. Tip number seven, creator mode. Creator mode being on will hide your email address, but it will also hide certain story progression features. I would recommend keeping this off and hiding your email in some other way if you create content. Fair warning here though, please do make sure to have this setting on during your new war playthrough. Tip number eight, arrow keys. If your mouse ever stops working or you really need to finish that Greg sausage roll with one hand after a mission, you can swap between options in the interface using the arrow keys on your keyboard. Tip number nine, rather than leaving the navigation to access your arsenal every time, you can change warframes and weapons on the bar on the left side. Tip number 10, did you know you can zoom using middle click while mining? No? Well, now you do. That's all for today, but as usual, let me know in the comments below if you think I've missed any useful interface or settings tips. See you next time.